Hey everyone, welcome to Pipes, Tobacco, and Whiskey. So, as you can see, today I don't have any of my sons with me. They've all had more important things to do. Uh, just kidding. Uh, actually, um, they're all, one's on vacation, one's working, one's uh, up in uh, about an hour away from here. Couldn't get in this week, so you got me this week, which is... Okay, I guess. I know most of you like to have at least one of my boys with us, but uh, that'll come back next week, I promise. So today I thought, since it was going to be by myself, that I would share with you uh, a blend that I found just recently, back in January. Uh, just tried this blend for the first time. And uh, I'm going to kind of talk you through this one, uh, but... To be honest with you, uh, this this caught me by surprise. So this is Samuel Gowith's Perfection. I'm not exactly sure how long this has been out there. Some of you guys that have smoked Englishes a lot may have come acro across this one already. But um, this one really caught me by surprise. Now, it is, uh, of course, made in the uh, United Kingdom. It's an English blend. Uh, it has Latakia's, Oriental Turkish's, and Virginia's in it, and just a slight flavoring of vanilla on it. Uh, it's a ribbon cut. You can get it in 50 gram tins. Uh, when you can find it, you can normally get it just about anywhere that Samuel Gallith stuff is sold. I got mine at smokingpipes.com. Uh, to date, at when I recorded this episode, uh, it was not available on any of the websites that I could find. But this one is not their best seller. So when there is a Samuel Gallith drop, this one will hang around for a while. So you, once you see it, you don't have to purchase it immediately. But I will because I, I'll share that with you here in a little bit. The strength on this one is about a moderate. It's not really mild and it's not really medium. The flavoring on it is, is mild. The taste is about a medium. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and jump in uh, and share my thoughts with this one on you. Now, guys, when you go to uh, Tobacco Reviews, the reviews on this one are kind of mixed. And I'll tell you why. This is not an English blend that has lots of wow characteristics. This is a straight English blend, no frills, very easy to smoke. So, with that in mind, let's let's go ahead and talk about this. Um, when I get into the tin note on this one, the vanilla is almost non-existent. I don't smell that topping at all. I smell a little bit of light, smoky campfire, a little bit of woodiness in here. Uh, there's a little mustiness from, from those Turkishes. Just a ever so slightly hint of sweetness, maybe from the Virginias, maybe from the topping, not quite sure. Uh, there's not a lot of grass, you know, Virginia grass smells in here. Uh, to me, this is a very, very typical light English scent. It's got a little bit of that mushroom smell in there as well. Uh, the tin note to me is very characteristic of what you would expect out of a ver uh, an English blend. Okay? All right. So when I start to smoke this one, at the very beginning, I get... By the way, I'm smoking this out of my new, newly acquired Trey Rice horn pipe that we had commissioned. All uh, four of the boys uh, got one, and this one was mine. I, if you haven't seen that episode, you need to jump back a couple of weeks and watch that uh, reveal of all of the uh, the Trey Rice pipes that we had made. But when I when I start this off, I get some of that typical Latakia tastes with the smokiness, that campfire kind of uh, smokiness. Um, it has a little bit of a nutty flavoring to it, almost like almonds. Um, it's mildly sweet. The, the vanilla in it is almost non-existent. You really don't notice a vanilla topping on this. The Turkishes come through pretty good. That Izmir 
comes through as the dominant leaf on this. And even with the vanilla, I would not consider this to be an English aromatic. This is more of a typical English smoke. There's a light buttery taste to this. There's a little bit of spice. There's that sour tart taste. And it's pretty consistent all the way through the smoke. I noticed that the, the flavors don't really change a lot on this one. Uh, this is a typical English taste. Um, there was a story that I wanted to share with you on this of how Samuel Gaweth came up with this, with this blend. Uh, it was named after a local pipe smoker who couldn't find his regular tobacco. And he asked Samuel Gaweth to make up a blend. And his reaction to the new mixture was perfection. So that's how the, the tobacco got its name. Uh, again, it's a combination of Virginia's, Latakia's, and Turkish's that has been touched just a little bit with some uh, ver uh, vanilla. Uh, so very, very easy to smoke. Um, middle of the road English. Nothing special about it, but very tasty and very easy to smoke. Uh, room note. So, I love the room note on this one. Um, that sweetness kind of lingers just a little bit in the room, but you get a typical English kind of a smoky campfire. Uh, it's, for me, it's pleasant. Now, for some others, it might be just to the tolerable point. But, like I said, this is right up my alley. The moisture level, it, it is a touch moist when it comes into the... Uh, to the uh, come out of the tin, um, so, but it wasn't enough for me to to want to let it sit out and dry. So I didn't do any dry time with this. I just stuff it and go on. Uh, for that reason, I think that this is my new all day smoke. This is one that I can just keep smoking, bowl after bowl. And not feel like my palate is being bombarded. Uh, there's not enough spiciness in it to feel like my tongue is getting raw. I get those nice English tastes that I expect when I smoke Englishes. And since I'm an English person, uh, that's predominantly what I smoke. Uh, you don't have to dry it, so you can stuff it and go. You don't have to worry about it. Uh, I smoke it in the truck. I smoke it here in the house, I smoke it outside, when I'm working in the, in the yard, whatever the case may be, uh, I, you know, I like it. I like it a lot, and uh, it's my new all-day smoke. Now, the thing is, if it's not readily available, then I may be stocking up on this the next time they drop some, which who knows, you know, when, when that'll be. I know that usually in January there's a Samuel Gaweth drop. If I remember rightly, usually in August, there's also a Samuel Gallif drop. We'll see. Now that a lot of that stuff is going through the Laodice Enterprises, uh, who's the American distributor now for the Gallif and Hogarth, but since Samuel Gallif is under the same roof in England, maybe that they'll have control of that as well, and it should be more readily available. So... Uh, what do I think about the nicotine content on this? See, this one is mild to moderate. The nicotine content on this is not a big hit, which is another good reason why I like to uh, smoke this all day. A um, few comments about this. The lot of Kias in this are light. Uh, it's cool. It's mellow. Uh, it is It is a little unique. There is some, some aspects of it that I feel like make it a... a a unique English blend, not just a run-of-the-mill English blend. Um, there's no bite. There's no harshness in this. There's a few rough spots here and there. Um, it leaves a little bit of moisture in the bowl, uh, but it has a really nice, short, pleasant aftertaste on this one. Uh, I prefer to smoke this one in a larger size bowl, although even in a medium or small bowl, it still smokes well. Uh, as English blends go, this is, you know, this is a, a really solid English blend. Um, the tart sourness kind of stays at the back of the tongue throughout the smoke. 
a little bit of a tingle there with that. Uh, and as I said earlier, there's nothing in this about this that just wows me. It's just a good, solid, consistent English blend. And like I said, now that uh, I found this, I'm going to be ordering a lot of it, and I smoke it all the time now. Um, you can only find it in 50 gram tins. When I found it at SmokingPipes.com, it averaged to about seven dollars and fifty cents an ounce. So it is a little bit on the pricey side comparatively to what we found in others, uh, other blends that we've given our impressions on by the, by our channel. So uh, what what do I think about this? I you know I like it a lot. I'll, uh, it's going to be my everyday smoke now, and uh, I'm going to be buying lots of it, and I'm going to try to store some of it too and see how that affects the taste a little bit. Uh, what am I going to give this one? It's difficult to find um, right now. When it comes out, it'll be one of the last ones that'll hang around at your online stores or maybe even at your brick and mortar stores. Uh, so I'm going to give this one, I'm going to give this one a four, guys. Uh, this is a nice solid English blend that you can you can stuff in your pipe and not worry about uh smoke it all day long it's not gonna you know uh bombard your palate it's not gonna make your throat and your tongue feel like you've been in a fire uh it's tasty it's good four four shots so i'm gonna give this one four shots guys here's two and here's four and this is for Samuel Gowis Perfection. Go out and get some. I, like I said, I did a Google search this morning on this one to see if it was available anywhere. And I did not find it available anywhere. Uh, not to say that you won't be able to find some uh, because my skills at searching for these things are not as good as some of you guys out there. Uh, guys, thank you for everything that you do for us. Uh, Keep those comments coming. Keep those suggestions coming. We got some really good ideas from a few of you in the last couple of weeks about future episodes that we're going to incorporate. Uh, so we do appreciate that, guys. Keep them coming. Uh, our channel is growing. We owe that all to you. So we want to make sure that we're providing content for you guys uh, that you're interested in. All right, guys. Well, if that's it uh, for this week, then I want you to go out and have a great week. Don't forget, make all your piping moments count. We'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.